And what if there are things that, despite being within our sights and memory, they're unfortunately always escaping our grasp? These metaphorical white whales come in many forms, be it revenge or something we've once lost and would give anything to obtain once again. For us, our white whales are long lost memes or videos online that we've poured extensive hours into finding, but sadly come back empty handed each time we search for them. So I have a question for you two. What is your internet white whale and how long have you been searching for? <laughs> Do you want to go first, Herokus? Um, let me see. So I, I, I got one. I could, like, well, I, I said this before the episode. I got one right off the top of my head, but ladies first. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is one, like, I've not really searched for it, but I keep, I've been thinking about it recently is, um, and I, I don't know what the website was or whatever, but it was way back early 2000s or something. I remember happening upon this forum. I actually think it was like I was must have been watching cartoons or something, and it must have been like an ad for like, oh, this such and such kids website. Mm. And I remember going on it, and it was like a forum based thing. And some people were talking about like, not details of World War II, but like if like their grandfather or whatever had served in it. And <clears throat> I made a fucking account, and I, I just remember I basically just went in there and wrote, I think my grandpa was in World War II. And that was it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So... You know, obviously, like, I'm looking through, so, on my old YouTube channel, uh, like, I have this playlist, and it's helping to jog my memory. I mean, not really white whales, more like just, you know, but, at, at, anyway, so, first white whale, um, so, <laughs> I told you guys already, but I'll, I'll tell it again. So, there was this video, however many years ago, I forget, like, Five, ten years ago. No, more than, it's gotta be more than five years ago that, I mean, it was uploaded to YouTube, like, before that. It was one of those, like, um, when, when did YouTube come out? Like, 2005, 2006? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, so, <clears throat> it was, like, I guess, like, technically still, like, in the early days of YouTube, so, let's say around, like, 2008, 2009, somewhere around there, maybe 2011 at the latest. This video, I found... I don't know why I searched it or how I found it, but it was this video of, yeah, like, you know, like the neighborhood kids, like you just, you know, pretty much you're just friends with all the neighborhood kids and you, you know, you play together, you do stupid shit together. They, yeah. so the scenario was all like all the neighborhood kids were gathered around this kid's driveway and, you know, a couple of them were seated in the back of a pickup truck parked on the driveway and one of these kids in the back of the pickup truck, he's, he stands up, he pisses himself on, <laughs> on the sidewalk. All the other kids are, like, gathered around to watch. <laughs> and, and, like, when, when there's piss on the ground, he just, like, gets down and licks it. What the of, fuck? <laughs> what the, what the, f what? I got a friend. <clears throat> so... What? Sixer, are you sure this was a YouTube video and not a home yes. movie? <laughs> you wish it was a home movie? No, I, I really don't, because you would show <laughs> it to me, probably. Well, that's just it. It's my internet white whale, so I have not been able to find it in, like, several years. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't advise um, going on YouTube and looking up Kid Pisses Himself, because that might put you on the watch list or something. Well, I mean, if he's pissing himself, that's one thing, but it's like, well, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Never mind. Yeah, don't. Let's not go there. <laughs> 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 All right, then I'm here up. I actually have a bunch of white whales because I grew up on the internet, probably like you guys did too. So there's a lot of old videos that one, like, we thought of fondly 
and we look back, and a lot of them are gone. Specifically, specifically for me, are YouTube poops. Are, are you guys aware? Oh of what you yes, those yes. were like the funniest things, you know, in elementary school. Yeah, exactly. So, me and my sister would watch those all the time, and there's a specific creator that made a lot of great YouTube poops. But going back now, I can't find them because YouTube has a copyright system. And, and all those videos got stupid. taken down for the copyright strike. So there's very little remnants of the old YouTube poops unless someone re-uploaded them. Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah, same thing, YouTube poops. I mean, can't think of any off the top of my head other than... I don't know. I think there was, I don't know if this got, I don't know. I might have it saved somewhere. I just haven't looked for it in a long time. It's like something, you know, the cartoon Arthur, like the kids show. It was something like Arthur sells drugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were really good ones. A lot of them were around like Hotel Mario. If, if anyone knows what that is, that's the Philip CDI game where, uh, where yeah. comes from. It's where what comes from? Oh, toast. You're you're a little hard to hear right now. Sorry, I'm eating a pita chip. Um, <clears throat> all it's where it's where all toasters toast toast comes from. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, toast, toast, toast. <laughs> um, another one would be for me is when I was super duper young, I remember watching this P mod series where it was basically all these like video game characters fighting to the death and there was like a weird storyline going on. But I looked at it now, I can never find it. Because I remember watching them a lot when I was younger and now I can't find them, and it makes me kind of sad because I'm like, oh, there goes my childhood. <laughs> yeah, really. Hmm. That reminds me of one I want to share, but Herokus, do you have one you want to share? Like another uh... one? <clears throat> I don't really have anything at the moment. I'm trying to think, but I got nothing. All right, I'll just I'll rattle this one off real quick. So, if you guys have listened to the, uh, I, well, I know I brought it up in the our influences episode. I don't know if I brought it up in any others, but uh, as a kid, well, so my introduction to Star Wars, as far as video games go, I mean, obviously I saw at least one of the movies first, but as far as video games, uh, my first game was. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3 Rebel Strike. I still yeah. have the I still have the game. It's, you know, still fun like almost holy shit. It's 2022, so that means the game is damn near 20 years old. That's fucking crazy. But anyway, my white whale is there was a Oh, and it just reminded me of another one. I'll 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 tell it later, but so there was this I guess I guess it was like a gameplay trailer of sorts. I'm not really sure, but I think it was like there was I guess like whenever a video game comes out, there's like a, a website to like promote it temporarily until like the domain expires or something like that. But but there was this video on it and I mean nothing terribly exciting, but it's just it's one of those things where it's like I just want to see it again for nostalgia's sake. It's like the Hoth level where you're like playing as Luke running around and, you know, blowing up AT-ATs. Like that scene in the movie, you know? Yeah. It was like a level based off that, but it just had some, you know, Empire, or no, uh, Return of the Jedi, like Battle of Endor music. Like I said, nothing terribly exciting, just it would be nostalgic to just somehow find it again. As well as the website, but like I said, it's probably long gone. What you can do is look at the Wayback Machine. I don't know if you can find old links on there, but you can find a website. 
Hey, I, I know Wake Back Machine. I just haven't really uh, used it that much. Mm, you should try it out. All right, since uh, Heroicus is, I guess he's still trying to come up with one. So, if you want to rattle off another one, um, I don't have anything that's coming to mind right away. Um, so I guess really internet white whales would be so Nickelodeon had uh, flash games. And so I remember playing a lot of those flash games and since flash oh, kind yeah. of bit the bullet, a lot of those games are lost to time. Oh yeah, a lot of those like, yeah, same thing with like Lego games, like on lego.com, like, especially since, I mean, well, yeah, same, th yeah, Adobe Flash, when did that like, when did that like, uh, and was that like 2020 or something like that? I like support around. for Adobe Flash. On. Yeah, so like some of those games are unplayable unless, well, I think they're, at least like for the Lego games, I know, like if you look it up and there's a Reddit post, like there's a way to download them. And uh, I'm not really, I haven't figured out how to, how to get it to work, but it's like some, some way to play it. But, yeah. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they're gone, or at least uh, yeah. no, they're not gone. They're just unplayable, which is sad. Um, another yeah, thing, Slack is elimination. Newgrounds got like all of its shit like rocked. Oh uh, well, yeah, I'm not too familiar with them, but yeah. Newgrounds is actually an internet place where a lot of uh, animators come from, like a lot of YouTube animators come from new grounds, or like the mm -hmm. old ones did. And it was a very big art thing. It, you could make games, you could make all this stuff, but a lot of them run off Flash. So unfortunately, due to Flash's death, we have a lot of the origin of people's careers gone. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That, that sucks. Better hope that, uh, you know, if they're you know, if they're trying to keep a portfolio of their work, hopefully they had it saved on their, <laughs> on, you know, somewhere else, you know? Definitely. But yeah, with um, all, pretty much all of these games unplayable, it's like, I wish people could download the game somehow, or, you know, the people who made them at least could make it. So it's like, okay, I can package this up as a little, download and put it somewhere so people can just grab it and play it. Because there are some good games on there. Like, I remember playing the uh, Casualty series, which was like, it was like stick figures and, like, your goal was basically to kill everybody on the screen, like, except for a couple of characters. Like, they were like, okay, you gotta kill all these guys, but this guy, you know... I, th I think, I forget. I think in some cases it's like kill everybody, but nobody can be alerted to the fact that another character has been killed. So, yeah. Um, I remember that theory. <clears throat> but uh, branching off of that, you mentioned Lego games, and that reminded me of um, back when. Um, Either Bionicle 2 was coming out, or it was already out. There was a Flash game. They had, they had. I mean, I think it was a Flash game. I forget, but it was a browser-based game. They, they had a, they had a few of them, didn't they? Like a few yeah, Bionicle. Yeah, ones. they, they had several. There was one. Um, if I remember right, it was like just 2D. And, like, you just explore a bit of an island. Um, and there's somebody making, there's a team making a unofficial Bionicle game on Steam. Uh, I think it's called Bionicle Masks of Power. And they're actually adapting some, like, the visuals from that old game into their game as, like, a like a tribute or whatever, which is cool. Now, is is the game you're thinking of, it's, it's like, it's... 
it's almost like a first person game and you're kind of running along like it is it no no it's and it's like you're running along like bridges going into fucking pods and shit or whatever you're i don't know what the objective was you're trying to find shit no um i must be thinking of it we must be thinking of different ones i don't think it was first person i think it was like top down or something and it was like 2d that was like one of the early ones there was another one specifically coming out for Bionicle 2 where like you were playing I think only as uh Toa Vakama with the disc launcher and like you were running across like bridges and Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking uh, of. I believe the village would have been called Tom Metro. I just watched the movies but I forget. Like there's some the names are all confusing sometimes. But like you like you would like there were these vines creeping up and you had to like blast them down. I don't know. I think there was a time limit. I remember trying to get that to work on like a shit at the time we had like a Windows XP or probably yeah. older. And yeah, it just couldn't handle it even then. And our internet was dial up, so it just couldn't. Like I would I would just get loaded in and like it would just be like moving at like one frame every few seconds. Yeah, our, it, it was I think ass. We, I think yeah, it was like the computer I had at the time to play it was a little better, but still, it wasn't like the best optimized game. Oh no! I, I remember one of the Bionicle Flat games where it was like a point-and-click adventure game. Yeah, hmm. I think that's that's the, pretty much what I was talking about before. Oh, cool! I remember playing that and not really understanding it because I couldn't read at the time. I still can't read, um, but you know, I. Uh, I had fond memories of that. Flat games, in general, bring back fond memories. Oh yeah. yeah, I um, I never understood in that game what to do either. I could read at the time, unlike you, but I just didn't understand. Like, the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Exactly. Yeah. Like it wasn't very. It wasn't explaining it very well. But yeah, I remember like trying to play it a few times, and yeah. At no point could I ever, like, beat the game, because, yeah, it was like, the objective wasn't really clear, and, yeah, there was a time limit, so... At a certain point, it was like, you had to just start over, and I'm like, fuck this. Okay, so, I think I've got two that... They're not, like, specifically internet, but, like, I, I've used the internet to try to find them, so, like, I don't know, I guess that counts. So... Both of them I've I've found now, but it took a while to get to them. Um, the first being, I remember again the same same old ass computer. Um, I remember having this game as a kid, and from memory, because I've I've not even really seen footage of it lately. I just remember, like, it was a, you were like a, it was like a kid, he had a helmet, I think he had like a laser blaster or something. There was like a metallic background, so I don't know if he was on like an alien ship or something. I remember these triangular-ish shaped aliens, like, they almost shaped kind of like a, a Hershey Kiss. And they're green, one eye on, like, I think at the end of, like, the like the top of their stock or whatever. And they would just, like, glob around or whatever the fuck. And you have to fight them. It was a 2D what? platformer. And there were some objects that looked like balloons. And I, for the longest time, had no clue what the name of this game was. And then I met, I was talking about it with someone. And they... <clears throat> They showed me basically this image that I'll put in the chat. And they said, like, that's called Commander Keen. And I, uh-huh. I looked it up. I, I think I watched, like, a video of it. Because there's several games I had to find which one that was from. Because that's the one I played. And just hearing the sound effects, I'm like, this... It just barely sounded familiar. It's not like... Usually... If I hear some sound of something that was from my childhood, like I just suddenly like 
is like I'm being sucked back through time and I'm remembering random shit related to it. Or even smells can do that for me. But yes. like in, in the case of the sound effects for this game, it just it didn't like I was just simply like, yep, that's the game I played, but it wasn't like bringing back crazy memories. Um, what was actually the one that brought the, that to you? Because Commander Keen is a ID Software uh, series, and ID Software they created Wolfenstein and Doom, and so that that's the same company. So I, I was like, oh, cool. Now, uh, anyway. Uh. Um, the other one, um, I don't have an image right now, but I'll, I'll find one and I'll throw it into the video. When I was a kid, you know, late nineties or whatever, I got to see the first two Toy Story movies and I was super into that. So naturally any kid who watches that, your parents got to go out and they have to get you a Buzz and Woody. And... The Woody I had, specifically, um, my parents got me this one. They they had two different models that they made uh, about the same time. One had the pull string, like in the movie, and the other one had a one of his uh, shirt buttons was a button that made him talk. And I guess they made that one for kids that, like, are probably a little too rough with their toys. And, you know, you don't want to yank the pull string out. And then, well, it's it's broken. It's no good anymore. <laughs> uh, so that's what I had, and I hated I hated that growing up because I wanted it with the pull string, but my I guess my mom was just like, "No, you're gonna break it." I got one years later because I could, and the buzz I had it had it was this weird thing. It's like they the first one they came out with like had pop out wings like in the movie, except they just barely popped out. It's it was really terrible in the beginning. I think they popped out like barely like an inch, inch and a half. It was pathetic. But the other one they made is one where the wings were longer, but they were detachable. Like you have to insert them into the jetpack. And at some point in the early two thousands, I had this friend who was super into Buzz Lightyear and everything, and I started to like not care so much about kid movies and whatever. And I gave that buzz to him. He moved away. And then years later, I was like, I had pic- I had pictures of myself with it as a kid. And I'm like, I want to find this damn thing. And, you know, I would look it up and like, I would only ever find the other buzz. I would not find the one I had specifically with removable wings and whatever. And I spent like a couple weeks where I was like really digging in, trying to find it, going on Google Images, scrolling and scrolling, trying to find the damn thing. And then I remember like one day I finally found an image of it. Someone had taken a picture and they had the wings removed, like sitting next to it. And it's like I had it, but it didn't lead anywhere. It was like, it was from some listing on some site, but it had already sold, so it was, you know, it didn't help too much. But I had to like really look at the picture and be like, and the description of it, and be like, okay, this was made. I think it was made by Mattel or something, and the original one was made by something else or the other way around. But finally, I was able to find one on eBay. It was like the only one. And I got it, and it was like it was great to have that little piece of my childhood back. Um, nice. But yeah, uh, I was I was fucking obsessed like a madman trying to find that damn thing. Nice. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. Well, not funny, just that's a word I'm using to segue. What's interesting is I had a similar situation with a Mario doll. As a kid, I was given a very specific Mario plush that. Uh, I unfortunately lost because I was a dumb kid and uh, it was given to me when I was born and so for years and years and years I looked for it and uh, online looking for it one day I found it and it is a Mario 64 plus 
that, that was sold specifically at GameStop. Okay. Interesting. So one day when I get the money, I'm going to buy that and make childhood me very happy. For a second, I thought you said you were going to make out with it, which I mean, <laughs> so, sounds about right. Okay. That, yeah. that, I guess since, since we're talking about toys now, I'll bring this one up. So this was around the time, like, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies were coming out, like Spider-Man one was already out. And then I don't know if the second one came out yet or not, but like they were making Lego sets for the first one, you know, Spider-Man, you know, Green Goblin, whatever villains or whatever sets they had. I know for a fact because like some of like a lot of the Lego sets that I had as a kid, you know, thanks to just being a kid, not giving up, like not really caring or whatever, like the sets have been kind of broken down for whatever reason or another. But I like I definitely had a Green Goblin minifigure, but to this day I have not been able to find it. Like I definitely had the set, but it's like God damn it! I wanted to find it so bad. I don't know. I have no idea where it is. Cause it's like, well, not that I wanted to sell it, but like, if you were to try to get one on eBay, let me let me actually do a little quick search here. Let's see. Let go. Goblin, green goblin, figure. So yeah, if you were to go on eBay. And try to get one it would cost let's see this one right now auction it's like there's two different versions of the minifigure like there's one with just like the plain green helmet and then i, I don't think there's printed legs or never mind there are there's one with like i said the plain green helmet and then there's another one with like printed gold eyes like they are in the movie there's an auction for $70, another buy it now for $119.99, another for $73, another for $248, so yeah, it's, it's worth a lot of money now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, maybe I can, well, let me, I'm going to just find a picture, Excuse I'll put it in the chat real quick. Mike. But yeah. I have to say, when I was looking for that figure, um, and I wasn't finding anything, it was like genuinely driving me crazy because I'm like, I have picture of it. I know I, I know like the wings came off of it and whatever, whatever the features were of the thing, and it's just like it. I can't find it. It's like the internet was basically saying it doesn't exist. I'm like. I'm just sitting there like, it's impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. Yeah. <laughs> like, it has to exist. I owned it. Exactly. So, like, when I finally did find it, it was like this wave of relief. It's like, okay, I'm not insane. Oh, well, you are. Yeah. But it was also really weird because... Okay, I want let's let's say just roughly, let's say in two thousand four, that's when I got rid of it. It was probably later than that, but let's just say two thousand four. If that's the case, that means I hadn't seen that figure since I was like ten years old or so, and then I didn't get it until. I want to say 2019. So that means 2014. 16 years between the last time I had seen the figure. And it was just so weird because it's like when you're a kid, you're smaller. So everything seems a lot bigger. And then like this thing came in the mail and I'm just like, I'm able to, like, grip the entire thing with one hand, and I'm just like, this thing is so fucking small. And, it, you know, it feels like it shrunk or something. But, yeah. It's crazy. Interesting. 
All right. Okay. Now I'm looking at the picture. Yeah. I was just looking up and I found that like images of it. So it um, exists. It exists. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess um, I'll share another one. It's, you know, moving away from toys for a minute and back to the like Star Wars game side of things. So I remember on, I'm pretty sure it was StarWars.com. <clears throat> And obviously, well, I'm sure with Wayback Machine, somehow you could find it, but obviously since Disney owns Star Wars, like, they fucking overhauled the StarWars.com website. Because I think back in the day, I'm talking like 2007-ish, you know, it was like stuff, you know, Galaxy's at or not, is it not Galaxy's, Star Wars Galaxies, like whatever that old MMO was, I think it was Star Wars Galaxies. The one yeah, that, I think so. Yeah. And then I think it was also like Empire at War, like a real time strategy, you know, games like that. There were trailers for them. And same thing, there was this one, no, two trailers. Same thing, like advertising whatever game. Have not been able to find them even on YouTube. And I think yeah. part, part of it is because I don't know what game they were advertising. <clears throat> Like, one of them, it was, like, Darth Vader on a bridge of a Star Destroyer, and he's, like, I don't know, he's on some, he's going on some fucking monologue, he's, like, clenching his fist, he's, like, we will find the Rebels, or some shit like that. <laughs> mm. But, like, it, I don't know, it, again, it's one of those things I want to find just for nostalgia's sake. Like, and I'm pretty sure whoever voiced Vader was the same guy that voiced him in Fallen Order, Scott Lawrence. Because, because I mean, he's like the number one voice actor, or like he's voiced Vader the most times, like outside of the movies. If that makes mm. sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, that reminds me. Um, with more of these like short-lived Flash games or browser-based games or whatever, I remember. Um, at least two different Star Wars games I, I tried to play, and yeah, again, it's just my internet couldn't handle it or whatever. One of them was like, uh, not quite a 2D platformer, but it was like le a left to right style game. I think you were like flying the Falcon, like, or something through a uh, asteroid field or something. And I don't remember what it was. There was another one that I kind of wanted to see. It was more 3D. And it was it was really stupid. It was just like you would build an astromech with like whatever parts you wanted. And you would race them against like, I don't know if it was other players or just AI. Probably just AI. But I tried to run that and like just couldn't do it. But it seemed pretty interesting. Hmm. Like I would like to see whatever the hell that was. You said this was on StarWars.com, or... It remember? was some, something Star Wars. I know it was... I think I'm pretty sure it was an official game. Because, like, when I first, like, got on the internet, I would basically just, like, look up some movie or a cartoon or whatever I like, .com, and just go to their website, and I would just look for games. That's pretty <laughs> much all I cared about, like, like, whatever stupid games they had. And I just remember that. And I was, it was probably called something simple like Astromech Racing or something. I bet I could find it if I looked. I, have, I haven't actually looked for it. <clears throat> but it's a shame because it's like these things I remember, I was like, you can't play them now. Because like, even if they needed Flash, that's gone. But even if they didn't, the website's long since been taken down, I'm sure. <laughs> So if anything, you're going to be finding like a uh, a 280p 10 FPS video of it from 2003. It's going to look like dog shit. All right, everyone. I think we've had enough of ourselves today. So we learned a lot. We learned uh, that flat games are going to be sorely missed. And that they all had a special place in our hearts. And that and piss also, tastes better on the sidewalk. Exactly. So whenever you take a piss, drink it up. And that Heroicus likes to collect toys. 
Um, and so I, I appreciate, we appreciate you listening in. And I hope you have a great day. And in the comments, tell us, what are your white whales? We promise we won't read them, but do it anyways, just for fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not like anyone actually comments. Plus, yeah. if I, also, if anybody happens to know any white whales we're talking about that we haven't found yet, feel free to comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me where this shit came from. Thank you. And goodbye. Hey, yeah. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.